Good day guys and welcome to today's tropical update. In this tropical update I'm going to be showing you guys the latest GFS model run as it is depicting that we could be seeing a very active hurricane season and also a significant uptick in tropical activity. So this is as of the latest GFS model run as you can see this is the 12Z um, GFS model run. This is the 12pm model run and this is for August 3rd. So uh, we will begin to run the model, but first I would like to discuss how this could be somewhat inaccurate, but it is just a signal that we should be seeing a very active hurricane season and maybe even a significant uptick in tropical activity as we get into later this month. Because of course, we know that the season won't remain quiet for too long. So let's begin to run the GFS model run. So as we begin to run the GFS model run, we could see that, you know, the areas in the Caribbean get fairly moist. Those are um, just tropical wave crossing over the Eastern Caribbean into the Western Caribbean, then eventually moving into portions of the Eastern Pacific, then developing or not, but that's not our main focus. So let's continue to run the GFS model run. As we continue to run the GFS model run, we do notice that around 96 hours, we see a very interesting tropical wave down in the southwestern Caribbean. Now, I highly doubt that that will develop, although it does seem that it has some vorticity with it. But the reason why I doubt it's going to develop is because of, you know, the atmospheric conditions in that area. I think that there's going to be very strong shear, which is going to more or less inhibit the development of this tropical wave. Now we get later into the forecast, we could clearly see that that moves over into the Eastern Pacific. Now we move farther into the forecast and we could see that the GFS model is depicting. This is around 248 hours out, which could be very inaccurate and misinformative, but it ju it's just a signal for what could be coming in the future. So here is our 1000 nine millibar just lingering off to the east coast and you could see it seems to have some fairly well organized vorticity with it and it is more or less i would not call it organized because you could see that the western side of the system is more how, how to say it, lopsided more or less this area most of the moisture is concentrated instead of you know a full-blown storm that would more than likely have you know a lot of moisture surrounding the center of circulation but this is a lopsided storm now let's continue to run the gfs model run now this gets very interesting so this is about 276 hours out you can see that low eventually moves over towards portions of North Carolina, but it's off course of North Carolina, which is a good thing in portions of, but you can see, there it is, here's Virginia, here's North Carolina, here's South Carolina, here's Georgia, here's the Florida coast, that is just basically the East Coast, but you can see it's pretty far from it. And this, as I said, is around 276 hours out. You could see eventually this storm begins to get less lopsided and all of that moisture fills in and starts to build in around the center of circulation. So there's our 998 millibar low, which could be organizing off the east coast, but we are not saying that this is going to happen, but there is signals that are showing that eventually the tropical Atlantic is going to get more active. So we could see that maybe a tropical storm, by the way. So as we get further out into the forecast, this begins to get very strong. It, the pressure goes all the way down to a 976 millibar hurricane at that time. And you can see it's far from the east coast, which is a good thing. And there we have another tropical wave that's headed over i'm not even sure if that's a tropical depression or maybe even a tropical storm because it looks to be fairly um organized um why am i doing that anyways let's continue with the forecast now we move farther out into i think it's going to be, no i don't want that 
yeah, there it is. Now here is our tropical wave that we were talking about, and you can see one that looks like that strengthening. To be honest, a uh, one thousand three millibar tropical storm. I would say at that point, or maybe a tropical depression, and you can see that it's moving towards the um, lesser Antilles. So we go farther out into the forecast. And there it is, it continues to move on that area, so let's just get it. So you can see it eventually begins to weaken as it encounters some unfavorable weather conditions. Now let's move up towards the north to see what's happening with our tropical storm or hurricane that we were seeing up there. So that may be all the way up towards the north. So let's wait for a while to see what will happen with it. I'll X out of that notification. Oh my gosh, this laptop is freezing. Anyways. I don't know why it went all the way up there, but there you can see here it is. It gets flung by the high pressure then eventually moves towards the north so it seems that that could be pretty much avoiding land but um it this may not happen there's a possibility of this happening and this not happening the chances are pretty low for it not happening and the chances are pretty high for it to happen because for one reason i would like to m mention is um these models tend to pick up signals that are far out now the signals may not be as accurate but they are hinting that we could potentially see some type of tropical development within the time frame of august 15th and between the 30th of this month of course we're headed towards the peak of the hurricane season that is normal we should expect an uptick in tropical activity but guys we need to begin to get prepared for a significant uptick in tropical activity and i would like to thank you guys for watching this full forecast and as always peace out